Ah, my head! Ah! <laughs>
And then I went inside and I was like, this is amazing. So the rest are little tiny items and I'm going to show them to you. I got three of these postcards because of the art. This art is beautiful. I have one of these as a poster. It does not say Jurassic World Exhibition on mine. Um, on my poster because I bought it at Universal Studios Hollywood. But it's the same design. And I don't have room for these in poster form. So I decided to buy them in postcard form. That way I can just find a, like a blank area on my wall and then post these up. That will take up too much space. They look beautiful. Uh, this is my favorite one, the Mosasaurus. Actually, when I was deciding to get the Triceratops one poster at uh, Universal Studios, I was also trying to decide if I wanted the uh, Pteranodon one and the Mosasaurus one, which one of those three I wanted. I decided on the Triceratops because it featured the gyrosphere. I'll include a photo or something around here so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll just show off my wall of posters. Anyways, let's go on to the pins. There were three collectible pins at Jurassic World Exhibition. And um, they were a little pricey, like at $10, but that's not too far off what people usually charge for pins, which is like $8, $7. So not bad. And then that was the Dilophosaurus. This is a baby raptor hatching. I love that one. That's cute. And this one is Life Finds a Way with a piece of amber. Very beautiful. I wish they had one that said Jurassic World the Exhibition on it. That would have been a cool pin to have, but unfortunately, uh, they did not have a such pin. And here's a magnet that says Danger High Voltage 10,000 Volts Jurassic World Exhibition. This is cool because it does say Jurassic World Exhibition on it. It was a little pricey, like leaving uh, the exhibition. I mean, the tickets for the exhibition itself were like about 30 bucks in the U.S. And I don't know if they do the exhibition in other countries, but in the U.S. it's $30. And... Um, yeah, it's very much worth it. Very, very much worth it. You'll see in a little bit. And um, you, you'll just want to splurge on merchandise. I'm sorry. You enter the gift shop, you're like, this is way cool. You're totally overwhelmed by the show itself. And you just walk in the gift shop, you like want to get everything. And I, I was fortunate that I was able to get some things. And I'm really happy that I was able to go to the exhibition itself. It, again, I'm going to say it again and again and again. It was a lot of fun. With all that said, thank you very much for tuning in. But stay tuned because right after this, I'm going to include a little uh, montage video of the exhibition itself. Um, so, spoilers coming up. Fairly alarmed here. Here at 
Jurassic World. The park is a technological marvel and a modern phenomenon. Sparing no expense, the Masrani Global Corporation has created a world-class destination resort like no other, where humans coexist with dinosaurs in complete safety. We welcome you as our guests to step into a new reality over 65 million years in the making. This is Jurassic World.
Velociraptors, or raptors as they are more commonly known, are part of the Dromaeosauridae family, who first appeared in the Jurassic period, and for more than 100 million years lived on Earth. Today, you will get a rare behind-the-scenes encounter with one of Jurassic World's most incredible raptors, Blue. A word of warning, although you're safe behind the enclosure, please keep your distance. Despite all of our work here, raptors remain carnivores with killer instincts. I brought roast beef. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue. It's a, it's a dinosaur. Here, Blue, come. Blue, keep your eyes here on me. <laughs> Steady, Blue. Steady. All right, Blue. We're moving to your right, my left. We're good. Now let's move to your left, my right. 